saw that a lot of patients were suffering. They were suffering for months after surgery. I realized that we had to figure something out to give them a minimally invasive solution so they didn't have to suffer for two and sometimes three months with six months later. And what I discovered is that the heart is able to move around to a certain degree on the left lower side of the heart. That's where the arteries are on the left lower side. So if I would be able to move the heart around to bring one of those arteries into a very small incision in the chest, I can then create the bypass right at that point. And sure enough, using a couple of what we call positioners that we put through very small holes in the, in the abdominal wall and the chest wall, we could literally position the heart, make a very small incision in the chest, and then expose that one artery we need to bypass. When we're finished bypassing that artery, then we could reposition the heart to a different artery and then bypass that artery and so on. We've done up to six arteries through this technique and it's amazingly successful. We don't break any bones or ribs or cut any muscles. From a structural standpoint, the chest cavity is completely intact. So patients can go back to absolutely normal activity levels. Most patients are completely recovered within a week of discharge. And I've had patients going back to work within six or seven days of surgery. It's been a, a major change.